Oh my gosh, what is this? Why does my driveway look like this? What kind of horrible mess or a horrible disaster has befallen us? We're back at my home where I've basically been hanging out for the last two weeks or so, almost like I'm grounded during the summer. I had planned to be out on the road and doing all kinds of stuff at this moment, having adventures, doing weird things. And then one fine evening, I bit into a taco and crunched on something. And as of this moment, part of my tooth is gone. It's the very back bottom tooth. It's the one right in front of the wisdom tooth. The wisdom tooth cracked it. It had a filling in it, and the wisdom tooth cracked it, and the side is kaput. It hurts a little, but more frustrating is the quest for where I'm gonna go to the dentist, because my good dentist retired six months ago, so I've been getting quotes and going places. The first quote was 10K. Because you're pulling two teeth and doing two bone grafts and one implant and the whole thing. Then the next quote was more like 7K. The next one's down a little bit from that. It's just time consuming going to different dentists and sitting in the chair, getting the x-rays done, and I have a serious phobia. Completely irrational, illogical, a phobia of dentists where I am like shaking and tearing up. It's highly embarrassing for everyone, especially Allie who has to go with me to the dentist. It hurts a little bit, not too bad, like a two, but a constant two. So that's not really the problem. The problem is more the time it's consumed and I gotta be home to keep going to these places because these teeth gotta come out of my head soon. But as you can see, teeth are not the only distraction because all around me people are painting and painting and painting and painting. And and painting this giant playhouse for my new dog. No, I'm kidding. I don't have a dog. This is our booth for the big Midsummer Scream convention coming up next weekend. I didn't want to do it. Tyler was skeptical that we could even pull it off. So I was like, all right, we're just going to skip this year. And then the girls got together and outvoted us. And turned Tyler against me, although he said, oh, I can't do it unless Chris says he can help me build it. And then our friend Handsome Chris came to the rescue, pretty much single-handedly built this structure with a little help from Tyler and Allie doing some sanding and such like while I was gone on that last road trip. By the time I was home, the structure was all here. And we're like, oh, all we have to do is paint now. It'll be easy. We'll get together on the weekends or whatever. And we're still painting weeks and weeks later. Turned out to be a lot more time consuming than any of us counted on, but at least we're together out here sweating in the summer heat wave sunshine. Look at Allie's got a fan right here. It's her biggest fan. I kept thinking, cool, cool. We'll work on this a little bit. We'll get it done and then I'll hit the road and then I'll, you know, go for a little while before Midsummer Scream. But as you can see, we're still working on it. And now we're down it to the wire because our load in is just in three or four days. That's why we got handsome Chris out here of a Saturday. We got Tyler. We got Alex. We got Allie. Steph's out there somewhere, painting prompts and decor and benches and walls. And this is our booth for Midsummer Scream, the random land booth. I know what you're thinking. Is it a haunted house? Only kind of, friends. You might remember that last year, we built a life-size version of an old 1970s monster action figure. The 1970s Azrak Hamway International slash AHI Frankenstein. And we had a whole castle set around him and all that kind of stuff, which was big and bulky and heavy. It was awesome. Monster City Studios loaned us those walls. They're now part of Tom Devlin's Monster Museum in Nevada. So without walls, we're thinking, what do we do this year? What do we build and create this year that'll be a little bit different? We got Frankenstein. We got our giant life-size Frankenstein toy. You know what Frankenstein needs? Frankenstein needs a playset. Now, what if Azrak Hamway International had built in the 1970s a playset to go along with that Frankenstein action figure? It would have been inexpensive. It would have been kind of cheaply constructed. It would have almost certainly been a vinyl playset like this, where the walls are made of vinyl sides that get warped and kind of weird. It's kind of cartoony, just like Pee Wee's Playhouse here from the 80s, which might be the last great vinyl playset ever made. See how it's all printed cardboard and just little vinyl sides to protect it from moisture? So if our Frankenstein action figure had a vinyl playset, what would it look like? Well, we imagined it might look something like this. So we're still painting it. We're working on it right now. Alex is painting the bookshelf. This will be the little pass-through window where I will sit and chat with all the folks that come to Midsummer Scream. Just don't go down the scary hallway. It's spoopy in there, like spoopy Tyler. Look at this, even Bogey the dog is helping by trying not to complain. He's outside, he's got a little fan on him. He's just chilling out here. Bogey? <gasps> Bogey? The uh, finances are not in order to have produced much merchandise, so we're not going to have even lots of merchandise or anything like this. I just got outvoted to do this because my Scream team here knows that we got lots of friends that come out to the show, lots of people that come out to meet and greet and hug and take fun pics. And they didn't want to let them down. The funny part is this looks so simple, and it was simple on purpose because we're like, we'll do it like this, and it'll be really inexpensive. We'll be able to throw it together and turn out like paint and wood and all that stuff. When you add it all together and then all the hours, it's like, 
No, this costs more than we were expecting. But it's all gonna be worth it when we see the smile on Frankenstein's little monstrous face. House good. So anyway, that's what's been going on. That's what's absorbed the bulk of my time. And I wouldn't have let it go so long without some kind of video or some kind of update on the channel here, except for the fact that I kept thinking like, yeah, two more days and we'll be done with this. And then I'll be out, we'll be doing something cool. And instead, it looks like we're gonna be working on this straight up until the day of Midsummer Scream. I'm telling you, I have a whole new respect for haunters and people who build this stuff in their driveways. It's a lot harder and more time consuming than you'd think. Anyway, even though I got outvoted and sucked into this project, partially against my will until they were like, come on, think of all the people that come and get the hugs and we're gonna meet and greet and everybody. And I was like, okay, yeah, I'll do it. You know, oh, all right, I'm game. I haven't been completely unproductive. I've been varnishing some old tiki's that I purchased. These aren't ones that I carved. I've been carving some other stuff. I don't know if anyone would be interested in like a video of like how I built my own little tiki garden or whatever, but. Maybe I should do something like that when I'm finished with it. I don't know. I'm working a little bit on that in between this stuff when it gets too hot or whatever, you come in the shade over here. And I've also managed to film a few videos, just not on this channel, over on the other channel, my second channel, where the Sometimes Vlog now lives. That was my old vlog, like sort of an old run around, unedited vlog that has been resurrected for 2023 in fits and starts, but it's getting more and more regular. It's over on the second channel, youtube.com slash livefastdiepoor, the old school channel. And over there, I show you guys this giant gigantic tiki that I carved. Don't get spoilers. Look away if you haven't seen that video on the days where my scream team wasn't here to work on this when they took days off. Along with some other carvings I've been working on plus uh, some tiki masks, which are, there's two for sale in the antique store right now. We'll do pre-orders for the next batch soon. And I've been carving away on some other stuff, just kind of late at night, annoying the new neighbors. Anyway, before the tooth broke, I was over there filming up a storm. So go check out those little updates, if you will. I meant to film more of those as well, but this has become an all consuming thing. For real, we're down to the wire. We still probably have another, well, we're working on this all night tonight until like two in the morning. Everybody's going to be here, except for maybe me and Allie, we might ski daddle for an hour or two, and that's because today's a very special day. And that's how you know we really are down to the wire and we're trying to work hard to finish it, because if it weren't the case, I wouldn't be here at all, because today is Allie and my ninth anniversary. And instead of being in a nice restaurant or running down to Disneyland taking our picture yet or anything like that, we're out here painting and sweating with all our friends and Tyler. All right, look at this, you'll notice the haunted house has an open window. Haunted houses don't have wide open windows. So Chris is taking it to the next level. He's mailing in those haunted boards over here. Now, Allie and I will probably take off later to go get our annual photo. We've taken the same picture every year since we met nine years ago today down at Disneyland. But for the moment, we're here stuck in with the Scream team and hacking away at this project for Midsummer Scream. And I better get back to work helping or at least looking busy and pretending to help. And we'll catch up with you guys a little bit later on today. But like I said, don't forget that other channel, youtube.com slash live fast life. It'll be all linked in all that kind of stuff. Link in the description below. Smash a like, smash a like, smash a subscribe, smash everything. Smash the haunted house. And we'll see you guys in a little bit. Hours have passed. Well, yeah, and the, the play set is getting more and more complete as each hour passes. The Scream team is making a dream a reality. And soon we will be at Midsummer Scream with this thing and people will see the insides. Oh. Only one thing remains, to feed the Scream team some burgers from the grill. And then we will sneak off away from the Scream team into the night where Ali and I will go to Disneyland. Why am I talking like this? Anyway, night has fallen and that means it's our last chance to get down to the local theme park, down to Disneyland for a very special reason. This right now, July 22nd, is technically mine and Allie's anniversary. Because we have no idea when we actually started to date, it's kind of murky. She was chasing me for a while. She wouldn't leave me alone. She wouldn't let go. We were friends and finally we ended up dating. We kind of date our anniversary from the day that we met. And we met one night at Disneyland. She had sent me a message. She wanted to meet up and take a picture with me. And the picture was not great, but she posted it and she was so excited about it. And I felt bad the picture sucked. She threw her arms around me and threw me off. I was like, whoa, you know, and I felt guilty. So I came back at the next night. So we kind of have this weird like two day anniversary where it was like, oh, hey, I met you and I took a picture with you. And, uh, and then really I came back the next day and then we hung out and she was like kind of flirting with me and like trying to touch my knee. I'm like, that's kind of weird. But we became friends and then way later down the line, I let her seduce me 
And that's the story. Now I've told that story many times and I've told it in more detail before in the past on past anniversaries. This anniversary is kind of a rush because of all the projects that you saw earlier. But now just as the fireworks are about to launch, apparently we are headed into the park to at least get our yearly picture. It doesn't really matter that today was distracted and full of projects. Like I said, we kind of have this funky like two day anniversary and sort of, we always forget. We used to forget <laughs> until like yeah. halfway through today. We'd be like, oh my gosh, we gotta run down to the park and get our picture. It's the 22nd. We always thought it was the 23rd because mm -hmm. the 23rd is the day where we like talked and you were all flirty and I was like, oh, that's weird. <laughs> Kind of strange, you know, what does she want from me? I just want to be your friend. Okay, I guess I could do that. You know, you know how things go. And now it's kind of crazy. We're here nine years, nine years later. Oh, I can see the fireworks starting. Nine years of basically not one day going by where I didn't feel like Allie was my very best friend in the world. It's weird because normally by this point in the day when we're gonna go and take the picture and stuff, I've had more time to think about it and get nostalgic and, get little treats for Al, or maybe a card or something. And we've been just completely taken over by the stupid thing in the backyard and all the projects so that hasn't happened today. So I feel kind of rushed, like, oh, I got to feel nostalgia all of a sudden, but it's okay. We still have tomorrow to like soak it all in and do whatever. And there won't be as many people in the backyard tomorrow hammering on things and painting stuff, apparently. Apparently they're ditching us tomorrow. But you know what? Even when you're not feeling the most emotional of all, it's still good to go down and continue the tradition. It's so crazy, nine years. I mean, I put nine years of pounds on, but otherwise, where's the time gone? And she's lived with me for seven years now. We're still best friends. We still love each other. We still talk to each other every day. We still snuggle. Yeah, that's right, haters. We're still pro-level snugglers. So I think after all that time, you know what? It just might stick. It just might stick. Sorry, you're stuck with me now. Stuck with me. Super weird, dude. Super weird that it's been nine years, but it's also really weird that it's been 10 years of Random Land now. 10 years! It's crazy, because if I had never made Random Land, Allie would have never watched it, and never would have messaged me, and got obsessed with me. And I'm only half joking, huh? What's really weird is it's like 9.30 something right now, the fireworks are just going off, and this is basically around when I was coming into the park. I just came down here because I was like, oh yeah, there was this girl. I said I would take a picture with her. I was supposed to come down with my friend Tyler. We ended up coming. And this is the truth. I was going to cancel on you. I was like, there's no way. I, I can't go just meet some girl. That's awkward without my friend there at least, you know? What if the girl flirts with me or something? That's why I don't do that. And for some weird reason, I, he was like, well, I'm gonna watch Netflix with my girlfriend. And I was like going through, you know, breaking up and going the opposite direction. It's like, Okay, all right, I guess I'll just head down there. I'll take a picture with this person and I'll leave. And she took a picture with me and I was like, whoa, she put her arms on me. What do I do? My friend Tyler's not here. That's why I look like that in that picture. I was used to having a chaperone. My dad was there. Yes, your dad was there and your boyfriend was there. Double weird. So that's why I say it technically wasn't the anniversary of us starting the day, but that's when I met her. And it was probably, it was probably around, I don't know, not a year later, maybe six months, nine months later that we were dating. It was in like March of the next year. Yeah, but we don't have like a a, a day. That's the problem. So yeah. to make things clearer, we're like, let's just celebrate the day we met because that's the day our lives would change forever. Oh. Anyway, the whole story is in my Instagram highlights and I'm sure I've told it before so you can find it there. You can find the more sentimental uh, sappy version there, not the quick version while we're running into the park to get our fun pick. Maybe I should have prepared a sappier version with visual aids. We could have milked it for all it's worth. It would have been like the Disneyland version of the notebook. Nah, but normally I don't even film like around our anniversary, but uh, I just had to do an update because I feel like it's been so long. Like I said, I kept intending to film and I kept thinking I was going to get out and do stuff and this project kept sucking up more time and more time and more time. So we're updating you. Dog, good news, I saw a dog today. And if I'm going to update you, I might as well bring you in to some of the magic. It's funny because the last video that I did film down here was at Disneyland and I was talking about how Adventureland was my favorite land. And what's so weird, I was going through the beginning stages of a divorce at that time. And I remember walking through Adventureland talking about how it's my favorite land with my friend Tyler, other Tyler than the one you saw today. Like maybe two weeks before I met Allie and saying, oh, Adventureland's my favorite land. And isn't it weird now that we're doing all this stuff down here at Disneyland? Oh. Huh. I'll probably meet the next love of my life here. And I go, ah, nah, who am I kidding? I'll probably never meet anyone again. And what would you know, but like two weeks later, here I am walking through Adventureland trying to find this girl who's trying to find me. And there she came. Out of the darkness to bring light into my life forever. All right, the fireworks appear to be over now. All we have to do is fight our way through the post fireworks crowd. 
over to Adventureland. Yeah, dude, but it is weird. And an absolutely true story. So Tyler and I were talking about that. And he was like, cheer up, you'll meet someone. I'm like, ha, ah, yeah, maybe I'll meet him at Disneyland, right? Wouldn't that just be my luck? Ha ha. Sure enough, two weeks later, met a girl who changed my life. You just never know. What could happen in Walt Disney's original Magic Kingdom? That's for sure. It's funny because Tyler really wanted to tell that story at our wedding. Like he wanted to do a whole speech, and he wanted to start it with like something like, "I remember the day when my best friend met his best friend," or something like that. He had this emotional speech all planned out, and then we never ended up having the wedding first because of COVID. Then Allie got sick, and she still has to get this insurance that pays for her twenty-four thousand dollars per dose injections every eight weeks. So. That's why it's just sort of indefinite, but we like consider ourselves married ever since then. And so we're gonna probably for Christmas buy each other uh, like wedding bands and just that's the way it is. I call her my wife lit all the time. You know, she she's the one who calls the dentist for me and holds my hand while I'm terrified in there of the two people and the whole thing. So, I mean, this is, this is my life partner right here. Nine years? <laughs> That's crazy. I'm old. Whew. Nine years, and it's going to take us another nine to get to Adventureland. It'll be 18 years by the time we get there. Dude, when I think how hard we've had to work to make a warped, funky, little fun booth for Midsummer Scream that's only, you know, 18 by 9 feet or whatever, and then I look around at Disneyland and all the craftsmanship and maintenance it must take just to keep it looking good, much less to build it. I feel very humbled. This place is a work of art, that's for sure. All right, while everyone else waits to get back into Fantasyland after the fireworks, we are going to sneakily make our way into the land that was always my favorite, even from childhood. But after that night, became cemented as my favorite place on Earth, Adventureland. Yeah, my family and I came out of the Tiki Room, and I saw your message, and then we just waited for you. I'm always trying to get the alley side of the story. So you guys waited over here for me, and then I told you that I was coming from that way, so then you started walking into Adventureland, right? Um, yeah, a little ways. Yeah, so I guess Allie was coming this way into Adventureland. I was coming from the other way, coming towards uh, this way from Indiana Jones. So we're now like at Allie's POV, right around the area where she saw me. And then I knew who she was because I saw her put her hands over her mouth like, oh my gosh, like all excited to meet me. And then her sister came up and started talking to me first. She gathered herself and basically right over here in front of these two lamps, she came up all swaggery and confident. Hi, I'm Allie. I'm your biggest fan. Da -da -da -da. We gotta take a fun pic together. Are we gonna take a fun pic? I'm like, sure, we can take a fun pick. And I'm sure I've told this story before, but my fun pick go-to thing at that time was to come into the bazaar and like get fun props like rubber snakes and stuff and take a fun pick. And I was telling her like, oh, grab like a rubber snake. And she just didn't look that impressed with that idea. Yeah, that's not my aesthetic. No, not really. So I was like, oh, okay, well, I guess we can take a picture somewhere else. Yeah, I think you even said like, can we take a picture somewhere else? And I was like, where else has light? Because it was really dark <laughs> back then in Adventureland. It was much more dimly lit than it is now, and those torches weren't over there. But at the time, there was this big thing, the entrance to the old Aladdin dinner show that was over in that area. There was this large, like, Arabian, Agrabah-style archway right here, and it had these hanging lamps inside. Also remember that this is 2014, so the iPhones weren't uh, what they are now in terms of low light, so you needed some light. And so we got over here inside the archway, just over to the side of this little magic carpet uh, mosaic thing here, which they left here handily for us. And then we backed up over here, which was underneath a lamp that was hanging up in the archway at the time. And like your dad was looking at me and your boyfriend was looking at me who you called your friend awkwardly. And I was like, oh, okay. And I was like, well, we'll just take this picture and try to make conversation, like try not to look like a weirdo. Like I'm just a guy from YouTube, I'm nobody special. And then she threw her arms up around my neck and I was like, oh no. And that's the, that's the famous picture, sorry. I'm still sorry. And it's a famous picture that we try to recreate every year, if not on the date, then as close to it as we can. But this is the awkward part every year is that we show up and we just have to kind of stand here until either somebody recognizes me, hey dude, I know your videos or something. And then we go, oh, can you take our picture? Or until we just get bold enough because we waited long enough that both of us are kind of shy about talking to stranger strangers. And we'll go, oh, can you guys think you can take a picture of us? It takes a while. So that's what we're... That's what we're doing now. We just kind of wait, hang out, try to look casual. Put the random man hat out there, hope somebody goes, hey, are you the guy? Yeah, can you take our picture, please? We're so shy. If we wait long enough, we might get bold and ask a stranger, maybe Santa over here. Holly always wants it to be a girl because she says girls are better at taking pictures. We might get bold faster this year though because it's kind of humid out here. It's kind of moist. Wow. And now we play the waiting game. Oh, seen any good movies lately? What? 
Awkward. It's funny because I am loud and talkative, and I'm good at talking to people once they start talking to me. Nobody realizes I'm just as shy as Allie, really. So we've been waiting out here literally 30 minutes, which is a long time staying in one spot. Just hoping for someone that looks friendly enough that we're not shy enough to approach. I mean, I don't mind. I've got a nice view. Okay, finally we got one from a helpful cast member. But this is another thing that happens every year is that Allie's looking at it like, I don't know if this is it. I don't like my hair is too frizzy or, or whatever. My arm looked weird or, or my face looks too puffy or something. So it's like, ah... So then it's like, do we wait for another person? Do we wait even longer? Do we go with a compromise? But it, every year. Oh, well, I like this one as long as you're fine with it. This I'm one's... fine with whatever you're fine with. This one's fine, but my face looks weird in the other one. My face looks weird in this one. My arm looks weird in this one. This looks, I... more, normal. This looks more normal. Yeah, like I look like the other people. Well, I'm good with whatever. We're gonna stand here for a while and decide. Sometimes, actually, every year we've had like a stranger take it, and then every once in a while there'll be someone who comes walking by, like Justin and Allie, like someone that we know. We're like, oh my gosh, it's Meg V, you know, take our picture. So we're Janelle saved us that one year. She took a good one. Yeah. Um, but they're all—it's an awkward place. It's awkward lighting. And it's an awkward picture every time. And Allie's like a perfectionist, so she's like, oh, it's not quite right. And it's like that's part of the fun, you know. So every year is a little letting go. Oh, oh, you, you're beautiful. You're more beautiful now than you ever have been ever. Mm, I love you. Okay, apparently Allie has one she thinks is okay. She was just worried I wouldn't think it's okay because I look like a doofus, but I told her, I'm used to looking like a doofus. I look like a doofus every day. I have mirrors. You look good in the picture. Yeah, good for a doofus, but that's what I am. Wait, we were just about to give up and then, Jackson, Woo! save the day! Yes! Skipper Jackson, I should thank you, Skipper Jackson. Of course, Jackson. anytime, you guys. Thank anytime, you. Anytime. You're a heck of a boatman and a photographer. Thank you so much, I appreciate yes, it. Yes, dude, finally, we've got the best pick and here it is, there it is, what a fun one. And look at this, starting in 2014 and going all the way up through now, every picture the same, except for obviously the COVID year. We did it, nine years of fun, weird pics. Now I just like, oh, we're in Disneyland, it's after fireworks, so people started to leave, we should go do some fun stuff. And then I just remember Tyler and Alex are still at our house, <laughs> painting away on the Midsummer Scream thing by themselves. So probably we should wrap things up here and go back. Well, we'll check, we'll go look at the line for Pirates because that was our ride. The next day, when I met up with her again to retake the picture because I felt bad I ruined her life, I go, ooh. <laughs> which is when she's like, oh, you should have me on Snapchat. It's this new app. I'll talk to you and be your friend or whatever. I won't try to seduce you. No, I said I wanted you to get a Snapchat so I could watch your story from Disneyland. Oh, I see, and did you? <laughs> and then you added me and started talking to me. And whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> she was this nice person like, I'll be your friend, you can talk to me. And the next year, she's like, I like you. We should hang out together and kiss, maybe. We should be kissing friends. Anyway, the next day, she's like, you got to ride one ride with me. And she's like, what's your favorite ride? Let's do that. I'm like, oh, we'll get right on Pirates of the Caribbean. She kept bumping into me. I'm like, this girl keeps bumping into me. I kept trying to scoot over to the edge of the boat because I felt awkward, like, oh, I don't want to touch her or whatever. And then like a year later, she told me, nah, I was trying to touch knees with you. Like, what? Scandal. So we did meet in Adventureland by the Tiki Room, but in a way you could say Ali's evil little plan started right here. She pillaged and plundered me. I don't know what that means, but it's probably fine to say, right? All right, since there's absolutely no line out here in July, how cool is that? We're gonna do it. Our old school first ride together. And then we gotta get back to work. We're gonna be painting till four in the morning, but we'll see ya at Midsummer Screen, so. That'll be good. I gotta go in first, because that's where I sat before. How he likes me to sit there. So we can touch knees. I love you, you're adorable. Look at you, you're cute. Ooh. Yo ho, yo ho, an alley life for me. I love this ride. And Davy Jones waiting for them. It's a strange way to fall in love. That's how it happened. All right, well, it's getting late. So after this romantic ride through the Caribbean on this boat here, ooh, a little tunnel of love action, we're gonna head back to the house, continue painting with our buddy Tyler and Alex into the night. I know it wasn't a normal adventure today, 
but we just wanted to invite you along for a little bit, mostly because we really appreciate you guys sharing parts of our adventure for the last nine years. We really appreciate all of you, and I wanted to let you know what was going on. My mouth's a little sore, but I'm hanging in there. Surgery scheduled pretty soon, and in the meantime, there are more adventures afoot. So I'll see you guys very shortly. Actually, if I'm doing updates before we go completely, I should tell you we're having a super sale on our merch at our web store, store.ramline.com. Super sale going on. Like I said, the second channel's been rocking and rolling. So, stuff's been happening. There's some stuff to check out for you. Anyway, now comes the part where we leave you behind and I take Ali to get whatever treat she wants. It's her anniversary, darn it. So, for the moment, we've done our duty. You can go home and sleep. Wow. Well, till next time.